Well, there they are, the first migrants who have disembarked from the boat that has come over from Lesbos this morning. They've been joined by Turkish officials from the Red Crescent and from the local uh, authorities here, checking their welfare and then registering them in a, a little tent that has been set up by the water's edge. Now, along with the second boat that is following closely behind, we understand about 130 people are on board, mainly Pakistanis. They will be taken, we understand, to deportation centres elsewhere in the country. Turkey's been signing readmission agreements with about 14 countries in the last couple of weeks since the deal was struck with the European Union in order for them to be deported back to their countries of origin. The Syrians who will be sent back in the coming weeks, who were not given asylum in Greece, well, they will be taken to refugee camps, mainly on Turkey's southern border with Syria. And there they will be eventually exchanged with Syrians who will be directly resettled in the European Union as part of a one-for-one -one process. Now, there are still major doubts over the viability of this deal, whether it will hold and whether it will actually discourage people from still trying to make that journey across to Greece. On average, since the deal was struck with the European Union, about 400 migrants a day have still been trying to arrive on the Greek island. So still, people are not dissuaded from trying. We'll have to see whether or not, when the news gets out that the deportation process is now ongoing, whether that actually stops people from trying to make that perilous journey.